Did you know that poor personal hygiene can lead to an increased risk of foodborne illness? Here with me today is Hillary Ayers, Family and Consumer Science Agent, to tell us all about it. Welcome, Hillary. Hi, thanks, Jana. So when we talk about poor personal hygiene, we all know what personal hygiene is, but how is that um, impactful as far as foodborne illness? Like, just doesn't seem like they go together. Well, so believe it or not, the number one uh, contributing factor to foodborne illnesses is not washing our hands properly. Wow, it's pretty mm -hmm. disgusting when you think about it. Just a little bit. Um, so is there a proper way that we should wash our hands? Like, is there a method to the madness of washing our hands? We hear about, you know, seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds. Like, what is it? Give us the details. So it is actually 20 seconds. So the whole process, when you first start to wash your hands, when your hands are underneath the water with that soap, is about 10 to 15 seconds. And then they leave the extra five seconds, you know, for drying your hands off. Okay, so 20 seconds. And that would be equivalent to, how can we make that easier for people to remember? 20 seconds, because you don't want to count one, to, you know, as you're washing. Right. Normally we're not looking at our watch like, okay, I'm timing myself, wash my hands. So some easy things that, uh, you know, people do is they might sing happy birthday to themselves twice oh. or song like row, row, row your boat. I'm okay. um, singing it twice in your head out loud if you feel so inclined. Right. <laughs> Simple way to do it because, you know, people will put a little bit of soap, wash quickly and think you're done or kids will stay under there for forever and wash their hands too long. Mm -hmm. So that's a good, good rule to know. So can you kind of show us what we do as far as the steps to hand washing here? So we have our sink and everything ready. Yeah, definitely. So what you want to do is you're going to turn the water on first and you're going to turn it on as hot as you can really stand for your own hands. And then what you're going to do is you're going to pump that soap. You're going to rub it along your hands. You don't want to forget, right? You want to make sure that you're getting in between your fingers, get those fingernails, the top of your hands, and then you're going to run it underneath that water. Again, you want to keep scrubbing, right? You're not just going to stick your hands in and not scrub. Right. And then that's when you sing happy birthday to yourself twice, okay. row, row, row your boat twice. I'm still getting my fingernails. I'm still scrubbing. Because the, the action of the scrubbing is really what's getting the germs off of your hands. Yes, exactly. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're actually going to grab a paper towel first. Okay. It's very important. You're going to use paper towels, not a towel, because there can still be germs on those towels. Right, good right? point. So you're gonna take that paper towel, dry your hands off, and then you're going to use that same paper towel to turn the water off. Okay. Because if you use your hand, there might be germs on there right. from when you turn the water on. So okay. very important to use that paper towel, and then you're just gonna throw that paper towel away, okay. and you're done. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. Seems super easy. Very easy. Um, and I know there's something that we do, you know, with kids to kind of show, like, really, are you scrubbing your hands really good? So what, can you explain what this is here and how we use that? Yeah, so this is the glow germ activity. And so this is a special lotion that was developed to simulate germs. So when we put the lotion on our hands, you would put it on, just like regular lotion okay. and scrub it around. And this is to show how easily germs can spread. Okay. You know, very fast, very easy. So I put the lotion on and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash my hands. Okay. Turn that water on, I'll still get the soap. I'm still going to scrub, okay. sing happy happens. birthday to myself. Okay. So I'm simulating washing my hands just as I normally would. Sure I'm getting all the right places. Then I'm going to use the paper towels again. Okay. Dry my hands off. And I'm going to bring this a little closer. Turn the water off. And now what we're going to do is we're going to use UV lights, so oh. those black lights, okay. and shine them on my hands, and it will show all the areas where germs might still be. Wow. Yeah. So it's a That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's a great way to see, you know, am I washing my hands the right way? Okay. Am I missing some spots? Right. So let's see if how I did. Okay, let's see. I'm ready. All right, so I'm gonna put my hands in here and you're gonna take, take that the flashlight. flashlight. And we're gonna shine it right here. You can shine or the open. Or the open hole. Okay. Did I miss anywhere? I see. Anything glowing? Um, I think I see some glow spots. Oh no. I do think I see a little. Oh no, I do too. Well, that is just a good indication that when you think you've scrubbed enough, scrub a little bit more. Two, one. Wow, how cool is that? Thank you so much, Hillary, for being here with us today. Now you know how proper hand washing can decrease your risk of foodborne illness. Mm -hmm.